History was made in South Australia today with the state government entering into treaty discussions with Indigenous groups to address injustices of the past. Indigenous Affairs Editor Stan Grant reports. I want to talk about treaty. Words many Indigenous people have waited a long time to hear. South Australia's Indigenous Affairs Minister Kaya Ma has set his state on an historic course. Since colonisation, probably since the first moment Europeans arrived on uh, the shores of this land, governments have failed Aboriginal people and Aboriginal communities. South Australia will now begin a process of negotiations for a treaty. $4 million has been set aside for talks on issues like compensation and land, a first in Australia. It has been a long time coming. There shall be a treaty. In 1988, Australia's bicentenary, then Prime Minister Bob Hawke committed to a treaty. He failed to follow through. Recognition has been the buzzword lately, but many Indigenous groups have said they prefer a treaty. The Victorian government is already negotiating their own. Aboriginal representatives met again just this week. The Northern Territory government says it's open to a treaty as well. States and territories have stepped in where federal governments have failed to act. The push for treaty could overtake the process of constitutional recognition. It will increase pressure on Prime Minister Turnbull. Opposition leader Bill Shorten has already spoken favourably of a treaty. Just last week at a dinner to support recognition, the Prime Minister warned that states going it alone could destabilise a successful referendum. Malcolm Turnbull is facing pressure within his party. Some see the whole process as divisive. Former Prime Minister John Howard once said a nation can't have a treaty with itself. Some Indigenous people think the focus should be on more pressing concerns of closing the gap, improving outcomes in education and health and lowering imprisonment rates. Talk about it, but invest action in other areas first. But treaty has momentum. What his grandparents thought they would never see for this little boy could well become a reality. Stan Grant, ABC News.